Hey, Righteous Risings, it's TT here with your daily message of encouragement and love. I hope everybody rolls up feeling amazing today, ready to conquer the day, ready to have a better day than yesterday. For me, I know I am. I'm just lighting my candles. Palo Santo is great for just calling in high vibrations in your atmosphere. It's great for repelling low vibrations. It smells amazing. It helps your, helps your spirit feel peaceful. I like to light this not only as I begin a message, but I just like to light it throughout the day. Again, I like to say welcome. Thank you for joining me. If you are new to my videos, hello by you, baby. Thank you for your greeting. If you are new to my uh, daily messages, I'd encourage you to go ahead and hit favorite on this channel. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram because the messages that I uh, create here today that I share here today, I will be sharing on those platforms as well. So I really appreciate the love and the support. And we're gonna begin. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, ascended masters. Thank you, archangels. Thank you, higher self. Thank you for the divine insights you sent into my crown. Thank you for my third eye being open, able to interpret the messages that you give me. Thank you that this message will help comfort at least one soul, God. Um, thank you for it being accurate. Thank you for it being for our highest good. Again, thank you. Sending y'all love, peace. I want to reassure y'all that y'all day gonna be amazing. We are the creators of our experience. So, whatever we think, believe, and know, that's what we attract to us. So I want to encourage everybody to have the highest expectations. And even when we're not experiencing the highest expectations, know that it's for our good. It's to strengthen us. It's to, to um, build our character. It's to help us make it to our purpose. It's to mold us. So um, don't be down if circumstances around you is not the best. And know that everything don't stay bad. You feel me? Like, it got to get better. Can't stay the same. Ooh, so the card I got today was the future. And I really, I got this card the other day. Like, three days ago, I got this card. And again, what this card is saying to me is basically what I was just saying is that we are the creators of our future. Like by the things we think, we create our experiences. So we have to expect the best. Even when our life don't feel the best, we have to know that there's purpose for that. We have to uh, focus and have the best perspectives. We have to let our uh, the things that we experience Help us understand, help us understand who we are and, and get the lessons that we need to become better. Um, so with this future card, I'm definitely feeling uh, focused. 
Focus on how you want your life to be. Don't uh, focus on the things that you experience that, that, that make you feel bad or um, don't look for the bad. Look for the best even in the bad. And even if something making you feeling feel not good, look for the best in that circumstance. So we are the creators of our future. Let's let's know and believe and think our lives to what we what we want it to be and what we expect it to be and what we know it can be. So I'm gonna read from the book. Change your viewpoint to influence the to influence the future. Remember, like water, the future is fluid and always changing according to your current actions and thoughts. Gazing intensely into the future, this mermaid says you can see potential outcomes from your present vantage point. However, this isn't the full picture and it's changeable. If you're feeling sad or depressed, times ahead will be colored by this state of mind making everything seem bleak. The good news is that by adopting a more positive mindset, the future can appear golden and full of possibilities. It's natural to feel a little helpless during challenging times, yet by focusing on the positive, counting your blessings, practicing gratitude, you can really change your future for the best. A good support network is helpful for you or the person you're reading for. In reassuring contrast, when you're feeling positive, the future can appear even more golden than you could ever imagine. From this favorable position, you can see clearly how the outlook and inner dialogue directly have an influence over your future. Similarly, similarly, <laughs> If you've heard of the butterfly effect, the theory of how the simple flap of a butterfly's wings can far can have far-reaching consequences around the world, you'll be aware that changing just one thought or action can have direct impact on your future. The future card also asks you to claim your ability to see into situations on a spiritual level. Your gift of insight is heightened right now. Use this ability for yourself and others and for the highest good of all. So yeah, this 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 card supports what I just said when we opened up. Like we are the creator of our future. Stuff might not feel if I tell y'all about if I could tell y'all about my day yesterday, like my family in Indiana Indianapolis is going ham. You feel me? And, and I feel like, I used to feel like I was responsible for all my family, to keep everybody happy, to um, guide everybody in the right direction. And, and I still feel a sense of responsibility, so to speak, but, but I take that responsibility off of trying to be so hands-on with them and be hands-on with me. Because I know when I think the best, when I vision the best outcome for my family and for myself and the people connected to me, that I create those things, I manifest those things. When I'm hands-on with myself and I'm healing myself and I'm working hard to be the best that I can, it directly affects my family. So now I know, like, I can't focus on going to make sure everybody got this done and everybody got that done. I have to focus on me because not only am I making myself better, I'm making them better because they are watching me. You feel me? They are, they know where I came from. They know where I've been and how I used to be. You feel me? So um, that's the best way that we can help sometimes and the only way we can help and I have peace with that. And um, yesterday, I was really upset. I cried out to God. I cried out to my angels because I don't like feeling helpless. I don't like seeing people, not only the people I love, but I don't like to see people in sorrow and hurting and having uh, broken traumatic circumstances. But what can I do? 
I can only think the best and create the best with my mind and my habits. I got a fat sack of weed. I was I was kind of in my feelings yesterday. I wanted to roll a blunt so bad and smoke, but I've been on this whole t detox thing, and I think I'm not even going to smoke weed no more. And it's crazy because I'll be 42 in a month, and I've been smoking weed since I was like 13 or 14 without stopping with no breaks. I probably took a break last year for 30 days and I took a break a couple months ago for two weeks and now I'm on another two weeks without it. So um, what I've been doing to change myself and create better uh, circumstances and thought processes in my life is change the way I've eat, eaten. I've been on a whole plant-based fruit water seeds for the past two weeks and when i tell y'all it's, it's been one of the most difficult things i've ever done in life but i'm serious about changing i know it's up to me to change myself or or nothing can change nothing can change i feel like nothing's gonna change in my family unless i change myself i really feel like it it it, it not not trying to put out a responsibility on me again i'm gonna say but I know when I be better and heal myself that it's going to affect my family in a positive way and everybody that comes after me. So that's what I'm working on. And I want to encourage you to do so too. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with smoking weed. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with the way you eat. I'm saying for me, I use those things for years as coping mechanisms. The way I eat, eating unhealthy sugars, meats, you know what I'm saying? Soda pops, not never drinking water, eating vegetables, feeling low. That does nothing to lift my vibration. It does nothing but make me feel low. And, and, and since I've been eating healthy, I've noticed I've noticed changes. So I'm yesterday I wanted to eat so horrible. I wanted pizza, burger, french fries, all kind of shit. You feel me? But I fought that. And I know it's going to pay off. I know it's going to pay off. So, just, just do the best you can. Do the best you can. You know what? When, when you, when you create a, when you create healthier habits, when you like put better things in your body, you showing yourself you love yourself. And that's all I want to do is show myself that I deserve the best. Because I do deserve the best and you do too. Thank you for favoring my page, Super. So the card I got from the ego deck, this is the, this deck is called the answer is simple Oracle cards. I got the decorate card. And this decorate card is saying to me to change your environment, change your environment. Our environments, the way we dress, the people we keep around us is a direct reflection of how we feel about ourselves in the inside. We have to bring the beauty from the inside out because that influences our moods. Our moods influence our thinking processes and our habits. So like liven your space up move some furniture around put art create art buy some art change your hair change your hair color do something to to survive vibe your mood up and this card has number 50 on it and that is five so that means change so that's definitely what i'm getting change something in your environment Cause it's gonna it's gonna help your mood. It's gonna help you feel better better about yourself. And if I could share, like, I had I had depression for a long time in life. Like, uh, I was so bedridden with depression 
that I wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't clean my house. I wouldn't wash my ass. I wouldn't do nothing. You feel me? I didn't care about life. I just used to lay in the bed and cry every day. But something that helped me pull myself out of depression is um, getting up and uh, bathing and putting a cute outfit on, styling my hair. Because it helps you feel better. That is, that's one thing I can definitely share that I know that will help you feel better. So even if you don't feel like it, pull yourself out of that place and help yourself look beautiful. Bring that beauty on that, in the, that's in the inside to the outside. Because even though you feel low, you still beautiful. Share your beauty with the world. So I'm going to read what this says in the book. The spirit is a sensitive light body and is influenced by the environment it finds itself in. Dreary, dark, messy, cluttered, unclean surroundings send the spirit out the door and invite the goblins and trolls of negativity to move in and camp out in the corners. It's time to set this right. Open the blinds, clear the decks, paint the walls, Change the light bulbs and decorate the atmosphere where you live. Make your environment a proper home for your spirit. Your spirit must dwell in a cheerful and festive place filled with color and live plants, fresh flowers, clean windows, and bright light. Your spirit is a holy guest in your body and must be treated as royalty. You wouldn't disrespect visitors with an unwelcoming environment or expect them to dwell in your mess. And you shouldn't disrespect your spirit by giving it less than a tra tranquil setting it deserves either. Take the time to create a festive and bright atmosphere for your spirit. Be happy to welcome it home. Give it the proper surroundings and put out the best you have to receive. So I just want to tell you, you're amazing. You are beautiful. You Even if you don't feel it, you are. Share your beauty. Share your beauty. So let me uh, read what... We got a couple more messages. Angel number 807 is a message from your angels that positive news and or information about forthcoming changes to an intense circumstances or situation is on the way. Once this is over and done with, things will begin to flow with more ease and flu fluidity in your life. If you have been intuitive, intuitively feeling that a part of your life is coming to a close or an end, angel number 807 brings a message of validation for you. So this supports the last card that I had decorate with the number 50 on it, all about change. It's wrapping up. The best is ahead of us. The worst is behind us. Angel number 50 brings a message from your angels to do with your health, well-being, and lifestyle choices. Your angels want to help you to make positive, healthy lifestyle choices that will enhance and benefit you, benefit you in many ways, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Be assured that your angels love and support you through these transitions. Allow your angels to guide and assist you. So do y'all see how all the messages just kind of flow together? We was just talking about uh, changing eating habits, thought processes, um, and stuff like that. How it affects your health, how it affects your, your thinking process. So I do want to encourage you. Go for a walk. Change one habit. If you smoke cigarettes and you smoke a pack a day, try to make that pack stretch out for three days. You feel me? Try to... Try to, like, if you smoke weed, 
try to give yourself a three day break or something. You feel me? If you don't eat healthy, try to balance it out. Try to put more fruits and vegetables and waters in your diet. Because that type of food is what gives our DNA information. You feel me? Like the foods that we that's readily accessible and processed and stuff, they are detrimental to our DNA. They make you feel slow, luggage, and lug what's the word I'm looking for? Sluggish. That's the word I was looking for. And they we can't be our highest self with fast foods and stuff. And I know sometimes our incomes don't permit us, well, we think our incomes don't permit us to eat healthy. But we can, when I tell you, I go shopping by the week. You feel me? And it's, it's not that, it's not that expensive to eat healthy. It might take a little more preparation. And also, the foods that we eat, like when people prepare our food, you don't know what kind of energy they be having. Like, that directly affects how you feel. When you go to a restaurant and somebody back there mad fixing your fucking food, that's going to make you feel low. That's going to make you feel mad and upset and agitated because they put in that negative energy into your food. Angel number five brings a message that the ain't from the angels of important life changes are upon you. And these changes will bring about many positive opportunities for you. The angels ask that you look upon these changes with an optimistic and positive attitude as they are destined to bring you many long-term benefits. Remember to be grateful for the auspicious opportunities ahead of you. When angel number five appears, it is a message to do with your health and well-being. Your angels are helping you to make positive, healthy lifestyle choices and changes that will enhance and benefit you in many ways, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Rest assured that your angels love, support, encourage you through the transitions. And if feeling any fears, ask, the ang ask for angelic guidance anytime you feel the need. So, with that message, I just want to say I am proud of you. I am proud of you. Keep toiling forward. Don't give up on yourself. I don't care what the upheaval and struggle. Well, I do care. I do care about your upheavals and struggles as I am experiencing them in my life as well. But they are all for our highest good. And just don't give up and don't let nothing discourage you and know it's all going to pay off. It might not seem like it right now, but I promise you it's going to pay off. I promise you, God, angels, spirit guides, your higher self is cheering for you. Your ancestors cheering for you and so freaking proud of you. I promise your little nieces and nephews and grandchildren and cousins are all looking up to you. They are all inspired by you because they know the type of lifestyle you used to live. And that should make you feel even more proud of yourself. That should give you even more willpower and resilience to keep pushing forward. Because it, it just ain't about you. Our struggles is not just about us. It's it's about it's about learning lessons so we can teach other people how to how to find their breakthroughs. So I'm here for you and I love you and I'm always going to be here to encourage you and I want you to know that if you need any type of encouragement, if you need a listening ear, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Hit my inbox email me at spiritualtt at gmail.com. I am accepting intuitive appointments for intuitive reads, uh, intuitive guidance. I offer sound healing and aromatherapy. And I have sessions as low as $15. So hit me up if you need a, a friend that you can freaking trust that's going to keep it real and funky with you. That's going to give you that push you need. Because I absolutely have people I work with in, in my life and throughout my healing journey to help push me. And I feel like 
I feel like I wouldn't be able to make it without without them. So I'm gonna end this message right here. And again, thank you, thank you for uh, your love and support. Thank you for your listening ear. Um, um, thank you for liking this page. Thank you. If you need, if you know anyone that needs this message, please share it with them. If you know anyone that needs guidance, please share my information with them. And I'm going to end that message there and tell you that I love you. I think you are amazing and I'm proud of you. And don't stop because it don't stop. Life ain't going to stop, so you can't let it stop you. You can rest, but don't stop. Deuces.